This is a WFIN Shark News Special Report. Wireless waves. What you can't see can hurt you. Hello world, I'm Emma Doyle. And I'm Iona Hilliard. We are broadcasting from Shark Nation, bringing a very special news report you are entitled, Wake Up to Wireless Waves. First of all, let's find out what wireless waves are. Ms. Bridge, could you tell us what exactly wireless waves are? Certainly. Looking at this NASA pictorial of the electromagnetic spectrum, you see that the visible waves, which are only 0.0035%, take up a minimal portion. All of the other waves of the spectrum, including invisible, they are radio frequency, waves RF and others. They are all invisible. EMF symbolizes the electromagnetic frequencies. Even if something is invisible, like the wind, it can still affect the world around it. Thank you. Thanks for explaining the wave categories to us all, Ms. Bridge. Today we'll be explaining the truth about some of the invisible waves around us to help you wake up to wireless waves. Dr. Bennett Omalu, who has discovered CTE, is quoted as saying the truth does not have a side. He's discovered CET is a degenerative brain disease found in athletes, military, veterans, and others with a history of repetitive brain trauma. The truth is, since 1996, the FCC has required that all wireless communication devices sold in the United States meet the minimum guidelines for safe human exposure to radio frequency RF energy. Yet no updates have been made by the FCC since 1996. The truth is, secondhand smoke is very harmful, yet laws were passed 40 years later to reduce it in buildings. The next truth is, is that students should be safe from harmful radiation caused by electronic devices. The third truth is, our shark reporters found research-based reports that prove that doctors have proven RF and EMF waves to be harmful to health. Now we have the truth to share with you. Hello, I'm McIntosh Villamard. And I am Luis Flores. We are, we are here, here to, to bring, bring the truth, truth about wireless, wireless waves, waves to, so you. to you so you can wake up to wireless waves. PhD Dr. Joel M. Moshkowitz claims that brain cancer for youth is on the rise. Genotoxic effects from RF exposure, including studies of non-thermal levels of exposure, consistently and specifically shows chromosomal instability, altered gene expression, gene mutation, DNA fragmentation, and DNA structural breaks. Some insurance companies, example, Voids of London, refuse to cover any health issues from EMF types of radiation. Holy Johansson, Associate Professor, the Experimental Dermatology Unit Department of Neuroscience, Karolinska Institute. Wireless systems such as Wi-Fi routers or cell towers in their electromagnetic fields cannot be regarded as safe in schools but must be deemed highly hazardous and unsafe for the children as well as for the staff. Dr. David O. Carpenter, MD Director at the Institute for Health and the Environment at the University of Alabama. Exposure to high frequency RF and MW radiation and also the extreme low frequency. EM fields that accompany Wi-Fi exposure have been linked to a variety of adverse health outcomes. Some of the many adverse effects reported to be associated with and or caused by ELF fields and or RF MW radiation include neuro neurologic, endocrine, <laughs> immune, cardiac, re reproductive, and other effects, including cancers. And now, here is more important research based from evidence from our shark reporter, Luis Flores. F. Anthony B. Miller, MD, says that thus to avoid a potential epi epidemic of cancer caused by a radio fr frequency fields from Wi-Fi and other devices, we should introduce means to reduce exposure as much as reasonably achievable, use hardwired connections to the internet and strengthen the codes that are meant to protect the public. Michael Kahlberg, MC, MSC, Department of Oncology, Orebro University Hospital State, we recommend that your school districts install, install wired internet connections and develop curriculum that teaches students at all ages safer ways to use their technology devices. Martin Blank, PhD, recommends you hardwire the internet connections at your school and also encourage students to use hard 
wired connections at home for internet access as well as for all computer equipment connections and voice communication. Jeremy Johnson master's degree in civil engineering and had a successful career in Silicon Valley before he began to experience negative health effects from wireless technology and electrical pollution and now runs a leading website that helps families reproduce their exposure to EMF pollution. Best practices response needs that participants have a choice at times, but exposure involuntary to accumulated levels of RF and EMR frequencies can be avoided. Safety precautions for EMF waves include, include one, reduce, avoid, eliminate exposure. Example, turn device to airplane mode when not in use. Two, hardware PC. Minimize use of electronic. Turn off Wi-Fi routers, modems when not in use. Note, always turn off the modem before adding or disconnecting a cable. Please de place device on a, on a solid surface. Two, distance from exposures viewing distance should be 12 inches from the screen. Three, a sleep well haven and routine. Why should your school district adopt best practices for wireless devices? Wired devices should be classified as a high level of cognition. Children have higher specific absorption rates than adults do. Radio frequency radiation is cumulative in the human body. No safe levels have ever been established. Safety is only assumed. Studies by the U.S. National Toxicology Program in 2016 provide RF brought harm to rats in the result of brain and heart cancers. Rats are the greatest predictor of cancer in humans. Commercial grade Wi-Fi along with multiple devices in a single use area pose accumulated risk. Increased risk of brain cancer latency up to 15 to 20 years after exposure to children. Reduced male fraternal other evidence includes these, but is too num numerous to list all the re re reputable doctors and scientists who have verified the dangers of RF and EMF radiation waves. NEA Resolution on EMF Safety 31513, Los Angeles School District, and C18 Environmental Safety. EMF RFR contributes to Autism Harvard Medical School. Martha R. Herbert, Ph.D., M.D., Assistant Professor, Neurology Director, Transcended Research Program. Larry Hardell, M.D., Ph.D., Department of Oncology, Ontario University Hospital. Ionia Hilliard will give her, us her very special testimony to conclude our presentation. Radiation can cause very harmful actions to the body. When people get chemo, chemo treatment that have cancer, it ends up leaving them with burns, either that or they have blisters from the radiation. Radiation is very harmful and can cause your health to decrease. Kids with cancer, even adults, can get very sick and even sometimes die from the radiation. The one issue that we deal with is how radiation affects our health and we are affected by it. But we can stay safe by all the precautions that we have learned in this video by, by keeping all of our devices at a safe area and distance from us. Now we have a video of wireless tests done in W107 with Miss Bridges Stevens. We're doing a Bluetooth call and it went up. Hold on. It started at nothing, right? It started yes. very low, right? It started and at point one. Point one. Yeah. And now I'm going to call it Bluetooth in my car. Ooh. And what's happening? It went to 11,000. 11,000. 11,000. It keeps going up. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. We're calling Sean Cell and Bluetooth on the car. Man, so it does have a, it yes. does go it does go right through the air. And a lot of cars All right, have our test is done, and I think that concludes. Bluetooth is what? It has a lot of waves. A lot of waves. Yep. And many cars have Bluetooth, so it's very dangerous. Thank you.
Here we are in Mrs. Bridges' science class with Daniel and Nicole that are going to tell us about wireless radiation today. To use the main frequency analyzer made in Germany, you need to, one, hold the instrument while slight, with a slightly stretched out arm. Two, point it in all directions including up and down to find the main direction of the radiation. Three, shift the instrument in order to find the point of maximum exposure. And that's it. Thank you, Daniel. Well, we got the kit when it came in. It came with a card. And the card shows the frequency levels. It goes from not very much radiation to slightly to severe to extreme. And it comes with numbers, so that way you can measure it. And you can tell it on the other side if you speak another language, it comes in a different language. And it goes from high frequency, medium frequency, and low frequency. Wonderful. So now let's go test some movies. Over on the other side of the classroom, we're going to test the radiation and some objects with our specialist over here at the okay. mechanisms. Julia, so introduce Mariana, yourself, please. My introduce yourself. Julia Mariano. And we also had Nicole Sparling. Daniel Vargas. Thank okay. you. So we're going to start with. He has a low frequency of 17, and it's pulsing from 17 down to 17. That's in the middle frequency and a medium Okay, frequency. now we're going to go to the cell phones. And they have a high frequency of 30, 28, 33. So it pulses back and forth from 8 to 30. So that is medium radiation, I mean medium frequency. Okay, so next we have Miss Bridges' computer. Hers has 50, 17, 18, 24, 54, 40. So out of all of those three, the computer has the higher one. That's just one laptop. Imagine if the room is full of wireless laptops like with class. 27 students working on them. Cumulative. What do you think would happen, students? It would crazy. spike up. Mm -hmm. It would spike up. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to go to the router. And when you're walking around the router, it goes from 100 to 200, 400, 300, 4. You are an extreme. And it was in 800 and 11,000 before. But it is high when you are, when students are sitting, which is very unsafe because and Miss Bridge is also walking around the classroom, so she's getting a lot of them one. She's looking. And you see it's 500 over here. Three. So out of them, the router has the highest one. And now Nicole's going to put the cover over it to see if there's any of a difference. So it immediately goes down to 65, 40, 20. Wow. So Look it at goes so down to a decrease. Slight, yes. The slight mm -hmm. radiation. So there's still radiation coming. But the Wi-Fi, hold that on there and I'm going to check. There's still radiation coming and I'm going to see if I'm still on Wi-Fi even with that. Yes, even with the cover, the Wi-Fi is still coming through strong and without any problems. I'm going to go on a site to see how fast it moves on the Wi-Fi and look at it go. Amazing. I mean, this, this is amazing. Even with it covered and shielded, it's still phenomenal. It still goes Are we getting bit. any spikes? Are we getting any spikes? Okay, le now let's take that off again and see, if, see how high we can get the spikes from because it's processing throughout, processing throughout. Five. And it went, ooh, did you get 11,000? 11,000 it went to? Yeah. Wow. It went over the scale. Uh huh, over the scale of danger and extreme danger, right? Let's see that scale the again. On Let's see extreme the extreme is 1,000. It, it went back wow. to nine, nine. And Daniel, go on my laptop and go on some websites there and see if that d increases it at all. So six, did you get the 10,000 on there? No, not yet. It's getting the 10,000, 6,000, uh -huh. 4. So it's spiking up into thousands. Seven, six, nine, seven, six, nine. Eight thousand. So where the yep. students are sitting? Mm -hmm. Yep, right where the students are sitting, which is right here. So I'm sitting right here. It's going up to eight thousand. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at, look at that pulsing. So it pulses as the waves are going in and out, right? And it's trying to receive the waves. And, and the waves are invisible. We don't see the waves or that they could be damaging any of you in health, do we, guys? No. Nope. All right, is there anything else you'd like to say to conclude to our world audience that is viewing and anyone who is viewing this video? Sure. Okay, so as you can see that it's more safe when there's a cover on it, but there's still a lot of invisible waves that we cannot stop, and especially where people are sitting, and it makes it very unsafe. The radio waves that are coming through are more dangerous for the children at their age because we can only take up a certain amount which is about 10,000, I think. And the moment it goes past, it starts changing our health. And remember, the FDA did not, the F, FCC did not go ahead and renew the guidelines since 1996. Yes. So like you say, that number could be very well changed, but we don't know it, do we, unless we yes. prove it. So mm -hmm. the classroom should be very, the classroom should be a mm -hmm. safe environment for children, but with the invisible waves, it's making it, could be damaging our health, mm -hmm. and especially all these children having their cell phones in class and wireless computers, especially the, t the classrooms that have carts, and yes. all classrooms mm -hmm. have those, so it's very dangerous. Thank you very much, and we are now concluding our video presentation. Okay, go okay, ahead. so we're going to see if we put more wire, if it will be more safe. It's in the 30s and the 20s, so it's lower than it was. That's really? Yes. What was it before we put this other layer before on? Before we put the Show other you. layer yeah. on, it was within the extreme and severe, and now having two, Ten, well, eight, seven, three six. layers over it, it's between no radiation and slight radiation. It went to two. But am I still getting wireless? Let's go see. Really is it still on there? Hold it over that. Yeah. And let me see if I'm still getting wireless. Oh, yeah. No problems at all. So it's still getting wireless. Great. Wonderful. Here we are at lovely Sebastian River High School. We're coming to the W Wing. And we are going to test one cell phone. We're going to put it on Snapchat and see what's happening. Just from one cell phone up to the thousands. Can you believe this? My goodness. 1,900. This is crazy. Okay. Yeah. 1,900 just from one cell phone on Snapshot. Going through the sidewalk in the fresh air. Yeah. Now we come out here and we turn the phone off. And how many do we have now? 50, 40, 30, 20. Down to minimal. Seven. Down to minimal. Fresh air and minimal. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing.